We are given a total number of courses and a list of prerequisites. Each pair like 1 and 0 means that to take course 1, you must first complete course 0. We need to return true if we can finish all the courses, else return false. Since course 0 is the prerequisite of course 1, we can model this as a graph where each course is a node and there's a directed edge from 0 to 1 showing the dependency. Because there are no cycles in this graph, all courses can be completed. In their second example, they've added 0, 1 to the list. This means in addition, course 1 is the prerequisite of course 0. Now we have a cycle and if there's a cycle, we cannot finish all the courses and so the answer is false. So how do we detect if there's a cycle in the courses graph? To understand how cycle detection works, let's use this list of course prerequisites. We are given five courses in total. Course 0 is the prerequisite of course 1, course 1 is the prerequisite of course 2, and course 2 is the prerequisite of courses 3 and 4. To represent this graph in code, we'll build an adjacency list, a dictionary where each course maps to a list of courses that depend on it. We will use the depth first search algorithm to process each node of the graph and figure out if there's a cycle or not. We will use colors to track node states during our depth first search reversal. Gray means it's not discovered yet. Orange means it's discovered. We've reached the node, but we haven't explored all paths from it. Green means explored. All paths have been visited. We only move to a node if it's still gray, meaning it hasn't been discovered yet. We start our DFS from node 0 and mark it as discovered. From there, we move to node 1, mark that as discovered. Then to node 2 and mark that as discovered as well. From node 2, we can go to either 3 or 4. Let's go to node 4 first. Since 4 has no outgoing edges, there's nothing more to explore, we mark it as explored. Then we visit node 3. Same thing, no outgoing edges, so we mark it as explored. Now we backtrack, mark node 2 as explored, then node 1 and finally node 0. Since we didn't encounter any node that was already in the discovered state during DFS, there is no cycle so the answer is true. Let's add one more prerequisite to the list. Course 3 is a prerequisite for course 0. Now imagine we are in the middle of our depth first search and we have just discovered node 3. Next we explore its connected node which is node 0. But node 0 has already been discovered. It is still in the process of being explored. Anytime we encounter an orange node during traversal, it means we are revisiting a node in the current path. This indicates a cycle and so the answer is false. Here's the code to build the adjacency list, dictionary to track node states with colors and run DFS on undiscovered nodes. And here's the DFS function that handles the traversal and color updates.